So if you're interested in getting started with Facebook Pixel, and that is the best decision that you could make for your Facebook advertising life. So let's get started. Hi, Boring Biz Owner, and welcome to my channel. My name is Desiree, and I'm here to help your message get seen in the cluttered newsfeed. And a fantastic way to get started with that is with Facebook Pixel. Before we dive into Facebook, I want you to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos from this channel that are gonna help your message get seen in the cluttered newsfeed with online and social media marketing. So, how do we get started with Facebook Pixel? Well, let's go over to the computer and I will show you how to create one and hopefully add it to your website. Okay, so here's how we're going to set up our Facebook Pixel. So you're gonna to go to facebook.com forward slash events underscore manager. And you're gonna be taken to this screen. So what you're just gonna do right here is hit create pixel. And once you create pixel, you'll give it a name and then just hit the create button. So then you're gonna choose which one of these you want to do. Um, you can email your web developer, which is what I have done in the past. I do have someone that manages my website. So this is a great option for you if you're just really not taking to worry about screening this up. But we're gonna to go to manually install the code yourself just to show you how this looks. So we're gonna go down to number two and it's gonna copy it. And then we're going to go over to WordPress. And in WordPress, I have the plugins installed here. And what I have installed on my website that you can get to, it's a free plugin, is called Header Footer Code Manager. And you go down to right here where your snippets are and you hit Add New. And what you're going to do is just give the snippet a name. And in this case, it's going to be Facebook Pixel. You're going to have it site-wide, of course. You're going to have it on the header, just like Facebook told us to. And then we're going to just paste that code in here and you hit save. And that's all that you do. If you wanna see what it works, so what you do is once that Facebook pixel is installed, it's going to track when people are going to your website and what information that they're collecting. So since I have installed my Facebook pixel at the time of this recording, I have had 1.3, uh, sorry, 1300 people that have come to my site that we've captured their pixel. So this is how many people I have available to advertise to right now directly. Like, hey, you visit my website and I have this new service or I have this new thing. Or, hey, go watch this thing. That warm lead versus that cold lead with this Facebook pixel, which is what this is all about. That's it. Easy peasy. And you know what? At the end of the day, if you want, just send it to your web developer and they can get that taken care of for you. All you have to do is generate that code and send it to them and they should know how to add it in. And if not, you let me know. If you're not really sure what this whole Facebook pixel thing is and why you really should be doing it, make sure you watch this video right here about why you need to be using Facebook pixel for your business. And if you wanna make sure that people are seeing all of your posts every single time that you post them, watch this video right here on how to get people to set up Facebook notifications specifically for your page. And like we always say in military life, it is never goodbye, it is see you soon. So until next time, I will see you soon.